Friends, family, subscribers to the YouTube channel, adventuring with the SGOCC. When I back up, it'll be back behind me, over my shoulder, on our banner. <clears throat> so welcome to another In the Bunker with Jeff. I'm Jeff. Today, we have a, an interesting gun, and there's a little story that goes with it. So... <clears throat> About three years ago, I was in Cal Ranch Supply. I stopped in to get some ammunition. And <clears throat> this firearm was in the rack on the wall. And I walked in at the perfect time. Uh, there was probably four other people, maybe five behind me, all got in line behind me. I called out the ammunition I want. It was back when uh, you could only get one box of each type and only three types so I got my ammunition <clears throat> and I asked the guy he says what's up with that uh, with that black gun there is that is that rifle a shotgun and he says yep it's a 12 gauge from Turkey and I go well how much is it and I think I I think I paid something like 267 for this um, so <clears throat> then he says it's the last one in stock so I got the floor model. I heard at least two of the people that were standing behind me go, ah, oh. turns out it was very popular and they sold out in two days. And I got the last one. And this is it. This is a 12 gauge pump shotgun. It's got a full stock. Uh, it's not very tall. Uh, it's got a magazine just like an AR style gun. Let me move the camera a little bit here. Um, so I can get back a little bit. So um, this is brought into America from Daria Arms. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the gun's made in Turkey. It's 12 gauge with three inch chamber. It's um, It's got that, that beautiful 12 gauge sound. So <clears throat> it only holds five rounds in this magazine here which <clears throat> you know I've got other shotguns that hold more than two so because you know you take the plug out that's what you do so I asked the guy I says is there any other magazines available and he says no that's it so I get the gun take it home take it out in the desert a couple of times like four or five months later I'm back in Cal Ranch <clears throat> and the guy recognized me because I, I went in uh, once a week to pick up more ammo since we were limited to as I said before one box only three different calibers and uh, he says hey you still got that that tactical shotgun you bought from us and I says yeah and he goes check it out and he takes me over to the area where they have the holsters and the extra magazines and there's a cardboard box on the bottom shelf that had a whole bunch of 10 round magazines for like 17 bucks each and I'm like okay grab two so what I did was uh, <clears throat> got my 10 round mag and I taped the five round mag to it so now this thing is just a, a, an obscene looking tactical 12 gauge um, <clears throat> It's just, it's, it's just very intimidating looking. Uh, it, I used black tape to tape it together. Uh, the other one I took apart because the tape didn't, I mean, it's been almost three years uh, since I taped them together. Uh, but I like it. It's very smooth. It's not terribly heavy. Uh, it is when you load all 15 rounds of 12 gauge, especially if it's slugs. It's got a polymer stock. It's got a little hook here so you can put in a shoulder strap um, the front of the pump also has a like-minded piece so you can you can put a, a good shoulder strap on it that's secured to the firearm it's the pump handle itself and the stock are all polymer the rest of it's steel um, it's got a vented barrel and barrel shroud you can see that it also has this little miniature um, <clears throat> I want to say Picatinny but I think it's Weaver rail it's only like four inches long 
but you could mount a light on it or something of that affair. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot, especially because the price was right. Uh, it was pretty cheap gun uh, for shotgun. Not bad at all. Under 300 bucks with tax. Uh, you can go out and you can really spend a lot of money on a 12 gauge pump. Uh, you can get a Benelli, you know, there's, there's all kinds of big name shotguns that are out there. Um, <clears throat> this one took a little bit of a gamble because I hadn't heard of the manufacturer out of Turkey. Uh, same manufacturer as the shotgun in episode, uh, I think it was 12 or, or 13. Anyways, same manufacturers, and I have two Turkish 12-gauge pumps. I don't like semi-automatic shotguns. That's just a preference. Um, when I grew up, my father had pump shotguns and or a break-open side-by-side double barrel, um, which is on the list. Maybe this year we'll get another one. But <clears throat> I prefer the reliability of a pump shotgun. Uh, it'll never let you down. You keep them oiled and clean. And they're just good, solid, reliable, they're every time guns. Um, I don't think that if I were to go out again uh, shooting like out in the desert or even to the Sierra Vista range where they have a shotgun range, it's built like a little old western town and it has pop-up silhouettes, I don't think I would use the magazines taped together. I have a tactical vest that I... Uh, altered so it fits me uh, and one of these magazines would fit in the, the pockets or the wells where an AR magazine would go they're slightly curved same thing um, I like it it's all black good for night missions there's no night missions come on um, so you know once again this is not a training video we're not telling anybody what to go buy or recommending it. I'm telling you, the subscribers and the viewers, what I like about this gun. That's it. That's it. I'm not violating any standards. Um, I'm not leading anybody to go buy a certain weapon. I would not do that. Um, I forget how many shotguns we have in the inventory between Tim and I. It's either four or five. I can't remember. Yeah. You start getting old and these things happen. Your memory goes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's In the Bunker with Jeff. Um, I should put a sling on that. Now that I'm thinking about it, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Um, as usual, more to follow. And although Cassie's not here, this has been a Fun Brothers production.